Hi everybody, welcome back to Cap at Home and Gold Detroit. I'm Miss Van and today we are going to be making pop cap uh, <laughs> ocean mosaics. And before I get too far along in this video, I would like to say a quick thank you to our sponsors, the Community Education Commission of the City of Detroit and General Motors. So here is what we will need. Uh, we will need some acrylic paints. We will need um, a utility knife, some cardboard. Uh, I also have a few um, cups over here for cold water and some paint brushes. Um, we'll also need some sort of glue. So I have preheating um, my hot glue gun with glue sticks um, because it makes it quick for the video, but you can use any type of glue that you like. And then also, uh, last but not least, um, a bunch of these recycled like caps from different types of jars or bottles or just whatever you happen to have, but we're going to make a fun mosaic. So first step would be to cut your cardboard to um, the size that you want to work with. So I have this um, pre-cut. Um, this is about roughly 8 by 10, but you can go to whatever size that you would like. And I'm going to sort of paint the background. So I have my little paint palette from one of my previous videos. And let's get started. So I have three little cups here with cold water and then I've also started to lay out one of my jellyfish designs. Um, it's a good idea to have your uh, plastic caps uh, pre-sanitized and sort of sorted um, by color and shape so that once you get started um, you kind of know where everything is and you have an easier time laying it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and use one of my bigger paint brushes here to start painting the background. And I'm using acrylic paint and um, it can be kind of thick. So if you just uh, pre-wet your brush like I have here, the paint can go on a little bit more smoothly. Um, and you don't end up needing as much to cover the same surface. So I am just going to kind of blend in some different shades of blue and white and purple. And you can kind of like move the brush in sort of like this squiggle pattern, which sort of gives the illusion that the water is moving. And I'm just going to keep blending my colors here. And I'm just going to just keep adding different shades of paint. Really, you just want to get the entire surface of your background sort of covered, and then you can come back and add the texture that I was talking about. So now that I have all of the paint on my cardboard, just kind of thicken it up in certain spaces. The water really does help the paint kind of adhere to the surface like a little bit more smoothly but you do want to make sure that it's not too thin and I've already got kind of like a wet dry brush situation going which I love when you work with cardboard because then you can kind of see the cardboard texture and now that I have all of the paint sort of applied I can go ahead and just add that texture that I was talking about. And you don't really even have to put more paint on at this point. Once it's sort of covering, you can add this. So I've got 
It's a nice movement here. And I am really loving this sort of motion texture. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add some seaweed to give it just like a little bit more depth and context to my image here. And I have this three cup system, so I don't have to blend my paint colors any more than I want. And I'm gonna start with this yellow and it'll look pretty green over the blue shades. I can also go ahead and mix in some more blue. I'm just kind of mixing this green to get some seaweed. bit of environment for my fish to exist in. I'm going to be making jellyfish and maybe a parrotfish. So here's some seaweed and now I'm going to add some, I'm going to use a, a finer detail brush here and I'm going to add some air bubbles. I'm going to spend a little bit of time here making these bubbles nice and round. I love the idea of upcycling, which if you've seen my videos before, you might have noticed a little bit of a theme. It's a good way to kind of cut down on solving two problems. One is obviously the cost of materials and the other is recycling and reusing materials and the third kind of bonus that you like the third thing that you it's like a bonus thing that you learn is resourcefulness and that can be applied to all kinds of different sort of aspects of life you know, you might not always know what's coming, but once you train your mind to be creative when it comes to all kinds of things, not just art, but materials and resources, it's just a nice added feature. All right. So I'm going to set this background off to the side and I have a couple that I've already done. This one's kind of a wider format. I did this one just a few moments ago and it is already dry uh, mostly. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and use this one and I'm going to start sort of laying out my bottle caps, my jar lids, my milk jug caps, um, I'm going to maybe make that parrotfish. This is like an applesauce lid and like different 
on milk jugs. I've got, I think this one's Gatorade. You know, just all of these. All of these things. All of these things. Oh, here's another applesauce. This one's pretty cool. So here's a fish kind of happening over here. And I am just kind of setting aside. Oh, I have another apple, completely different applesauce. Orange juice. These ones are my green ones. So I'm just going to take a minute. I have white and clear here. I have some neutral tones off the side. Lots of orange in this bucket. Oh, here's another white one. Here's my kind of metallics and blacks. Water bottle packs. Here's a silver. Alright, so this is pretty much all orange and red. So I'm going to take these smaller red ones for like the ends of the fish. And here's like another pin. And I think I need an eye. So here is my fish eye. And then I'm going to lay out my jellyfish here that I already kind of was working on. And this one's going to be like really kind of detailed. Just adding. All of this. So this is super fun. So, okay, now I have an idea of where everything is going to go. So I can take my hot glue gun. Here's my jellyfish and my parrotfish. I'm going to take my hot glue gun and start putting everything down. And I have multiple layers here of caps. I'm not going to worry too much about covering up the background because it's the background and it's still there. So here's a fish kind of coming into view here. And this is, you know, this is pretty abstract, but it means a fish to me. And I know if you have a lot, a lot of these, and I feel like I have a lot, but you can get pretty detailed with these. I've seen some really amazingly detailed mosaics using these sort of like bottle cap, recycled plastic caps. And you could probably spend hours planning a really detailed mosaic. So here's one that's just simple. I really am very proud of this jellyfish though. And the parrotfish is a little bit simpler, and I think that one's pretty neat too, but I'm really proud of this jellyfish. And here's eyes. I got eyes. <laughs> And I'm going to, oh, got some paint on that one, but then applying this in place. And I need more glue, but then I 
have more glue right here. That gold bottle caps. This one's like a little dented, so I'm gonna put more of the glue on the outside edge. sure my glue stick makes it into my glue gun. And that is pretty much this project. Super simple. Um, it really helps to take the time to lay out your designs. And it really helps if you're organized and you have everything kind of sorted. Let's make another jellyfish. So here is another, oh, here is my underwater scene. Jellyfish, parrotfish. Let's make another jellyfish with green this time. Mm. Also with the jellyfish in this design, since they're kind of rounded already, it really kind of lends itself to this sort of medium, which is another thing to consider when you're using materials that are maybe a little bit non-traditional, is what you're going to make. So this jellyfish really reads as a jellyfish to me. This one's going to have some really nice long tendrils. And I think I'm going to switch the larger size cut to the top here. And yeah, I mean, I really like that. So that one's super fun. I'm going to start by kind of layering on the eyes. This one's going to go a little bit backwards from the first one I did from the parrotfish because I did sort of the background first. And this one I'm kind of working on the foreground of the image. At least, you know, that subject of the image. I also enlisted some help uh, <laughs> recycling for this recycling project. So I want to also say thank you to my mom and my mother-in-law for helping me recycle because that just gave me so much more to work with and I really appreciate getting help like that. So here we go, adding all of this really cool sort of funky non-traditional materials and making this like super fun art project. So with the hot glue, it is pretty much already done and dried. But if you're using liquid glue, um, you're gonna want to set your art project off to the side somewhere for, you know, a few hours to dry um, overnight at the very least. And something that you know, I don't talk about as much as I wish I did, is cleaning up. Oh my goodness, cleaning up. So I'm going to take a minute while I have the time to sort of put things away. Also, um, 
I did think about it, and it's not always something I take the time to discuss, but the three bucket system for cleaning off paint brushes is super helpful because you get most of the paint off from the paint brush like right away. And so it just makes it so much easier to clean off your paint brushes at the very end. And then here is my third cup of water and it is much cleaner and I'm already getting like clear water from these paint brushes so that is a nice little bonus and I have this paper towel sitting off to the side and I mean these are already like perfectly clean and it only took a couple of seconds really all right so and now I have some time to sort of like put, I have so many I could do like a hundred jellyfish maybe maybe not maybe like five or six more but I'm done so thank you so much for watching this video um, if you happen to do this project um, we would love to see uh, your images you can comment them in the comments you can add them to the comment section of this video or you can email us at uh, cap at college for creative studies dot edu um, we'll see you next week okay thank you for joining us bye